Hi everyone, this is Tina from Christina May Photography. I wanted to make a video showing how I smooth out my seamless paperback drops. I've seen a lot of photographers lately complain about how wrinkly theirs are and how it's difficult to make it look really smooth, so I just wanted to kind of share how I do it. I don't know if there's another way of doing it, this is just kind of how I've developed it over time, but I'm sure there are other ways of doing it. So first things first, what I did is I did my initial edits in Lightroom and then I brought it into here and I'm going to select the patch tool and I'm going to get rid of these areas here and then I am going to create a new layer select the paintbrush tool and I'm going to bring the opacity to 24 you always want to have it on a soft brush I'm using the soft round brush and that's important because you want it to blend on the edges and it'll give you more of that smoother look that you want and then you want to select a color to paint on and I like to choose one that's not too light which would be in this area and not too dark in the shadow or kind of a, a good medium mix and you do this by pressing option on the Mac and it'll bring up the eyedropper tool or it's right here. So you want to select and find that happy medium. And then you just brush it on the side. It's okay if you get on her because we're going to take it off in just a second. Okay. And then you want to come to the same, do the same thing over here on this side and select a happy medium and then blend it all. Okay. Then you want to create a mask layer. Make sure your brush is on black. Change the opacity to 90 and then you're going to brush it off your subject. If you take too much up, off of the top up here, then you can just kind of blend it back in. Okay. Flatten the image. And then I'm going to run Banding Butcher, which is from Aaron Toll's set. And I'm going to change the opacity to 24% again and brush on the areas that I painted on. Flatten it again, and then I always run Earth on my Mocha backdrop. This one's Mocha, and that one is also from Aaron Toll's paint box set. And all of those are listed in my blog post that I made as well. So change the opacity. You can play around with it. I like to bring it down just a little bit and kind of see how I like it. That looks good there. And then take the black brush. Bring the opacity to 90 one more time and brush it off of her again. All right, and there you have it. So here's the before and there's the after. Hope it helps.